Well, hello, hello, hello. It's Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern, and as always, your ladies are here for the most festive slumber party in all the land, because hey, sis, not only is it Christmas, it's Trishmas, ladies and gentlemen. We are so excited for today's episode, but before we get to all of the festive fun, do us a favor and support us by liking this show. Click that thumbs up. Yes, make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the festive fun, and last but certainly not least, hit that bell icon. Today it's Jingle Bells. Oh my God, Val. Oh, yes. yes, you got it. It's it also bad. doubles as an earring. But no, we <laughs> want you to click the bell so you never miss notifications about upcoming episodes. So do those things for us and let's get into the fun. Yes. Oh boy. And speaking of fun, you guys, we brought Patreon back. Patreon. Mm-hmm. Patreon.com slash TV. Don't forget to um, subscribe there. And also you can subscribe here on YouTube and support your lovely gals here. You know, just making everything bigger and better, the tighter, the sweater. What? Our guest today, for the third time, you guys, thrice as nice, and we could not, I mean, of course, I love celebrating the holiday season with you two, my favorite two people in the whole wide world, and if there's one more person, besides my husband and my son, that I could add to that list, yeah, besides them, because they are tippity-top, it would be our friend, our magical friend, Miss... Trish Stratus, always had a thing for, still got a thing for, and uh, we're excited. Merry Trishmas, y'all. Merry Trishmas. Well, hey, guys. You know, well, someone's already ready. Someone's already ready. So, you know, we start the show with what you're drinking and what you're wearing. Let's go with with Trish. Look at, there you go. Gorgeous. I'm wearing some socks. (laughs) My Trishmas socks collection. Yay. So, gonna... so cute. Oh, look at you and a little <laughs> yeah. yoga pose. A little yoga pose. Um, yeah, not your nice Merry Christmas. Just a little, just a little thing. Um, what am I drinking? I'm drinking my greens. I've got oh. that chard and a romaine and kale. Delicious. And then when you got inducted in the Hall of Fame, you did a shot of greens. Sure yeah. did. Can't get enough greens. Yeah, you did. You Green. romaine my control. favorite. Huh? I'm your favorite? You know what, what did I you did? say? I said you romaine my favorite. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> love it. Do we like that? I do. I do. Love okay. It. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh I'll go God. next. I'll go next. Um, I am drinking out of our drunk elephant. You can't see the little pink little stripes on here because my lights are too bright. But I'm um, drinking out of my, my my drunk elephant. I have I'm just doing a little half tea of uh, wine because I have a lot of stuff to do. Yes. But um I am all decked out for Hanukkah because that's my season and that's my celebration. I'm wearing yes. my my pajamas here. Oh, cute! Well, happy I'm wearing my, my my blue socks and oi to the world hat. And I, I wanted like to share with you how much I love socks, Chris. Mm. This is my box of socks. Socks, box like, like socks. Sock I did not know you had such an obsession with socks. I don't have your sock yet, so okay. you know. No, I got are those all single socks. No, nope, I just, I, you know what, I was, I was looking for my, my, my Hanukkah socks yes. and um, I, they all separated when I dug for it. So I couldn't find it. Oh, that gives me like, such everyone anxiety has, like, just room, looking that at pile it. Of, like that one's missing. It's just, I'll find it one of these days and you put it aside. <laughs> yeah. And I still, I won't, I won't ever get rid of it. And by the way, your teeth, holy moly, your teeth look fabulous. Your chompers. Yes. Thank you. I mean, I. Yes. Smile, the lighting here. It could be the lighting here. No, he it's like beautiful. Those, oh, come on! That is not lighting. That is just luminosity no. radiating from Miss Stratus. And we I do want to. I floss twice a day. Um, I brush twice a day. I think mouth hygiene is important. Um, mm-hmm. I don't drink. The only colored substance I drink is green juices. To be honest. Oh, so that could be no, no, no wine, no coffee, no staining materials. Could be part of the secret, my friends. I'm just saying. Yep. Yep. Yeah. How do you feel about charcoal? Things? Have you done the charcoal? Mickey was into the charcoal for a while. I like the charcoal. I do. I haven't tried it. You I did do. tell us about it. And? Oh, I love it. I, well, I use oh. the activated charcoal for a lot of things. I take it if I've partaken in bad things like super, <clears throat> like alcohol. 
Mm-hmm. super fatty oh, foods, good. anything like that, that I know my yeah. tummy is not going to be happy with. I'll usually, before I go to bed, pop to activate it charcoal. Okay. It helps pull. Do you know that they give alcohol, they give the uh, activated charcoal to people who have like overdosed in the hospitals and stuff because it's a natural, it pulls Ooh. toxins out of your body, yeah. it pulls it all mm-hmm. out. Right. Mm-hmm. But cool. also I would, you can put the activated charcoal either in your toothpaste, right. Or they even have activated charcoal toothpaste now, bristles or you can just correctly, yeah. take the dry, take the dry bit and you brush your teeth with it and you just kind of let it sit on there. You know what else I'm into right now is the oil pulling. Do you do the oil pulling? The oh, Astra oil. Yes. I'm yeah. obsessed well, no, with this that is too. not, it's like, oh. what do I have? Ses- not sesame oil. What kind of oil do I have down there right now? It's underneath my thing. Castrol. Ca- castrol no, oil. That's not, but I don't swish no. with it, Lisa. Oh. That's what I'm trying to tell oh, you. Oh, I, it's a, oh, I thought type your belly oil. button. <laughs> I thought your belly oil button. I put on the skin. Uh-huh. But yeah, I do. On the skin. I should go get it. I can't remember what the name of the oil. Anyway, I swish it for until, for like 15 minutes. I'll just walk around the house like. Yep. Now, what do you, what, what happens when you right. swish it? You look like what? Yeah, how do you do? What do you do when you go around the house? <laughs> okay, got it. Yep. Okay, <laughs> got it. For like 15 minutes. Part, tell me that last part again. You do. Okay, yeah. No, I got it now. <laughs> got it bad now. Because I'm doing something naughty by having a dark substance. I just wanted this festive little mug, but I have Diet Coke inside. I wanted some caffeine. And I did try to look Trishmas festive for you. So I found some earmuffs that were very Val with the sparkle. So. Yeah. That's so festive. I, I appreciate that, it. Love it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about your festiveness, Mickey. Ooh. Um. Well, as you can see, I'm wearing. Uh, well, I, well, I'm going old school theme to the PJs. Yes. Yeah. And I got my. Uh, this is this is me and you, Trish. <laughs> ah. Oh my God, we're so cute. We're so cute and sweet. Yeah. Um. And I got a little jingle bell necklace. I okay. have this gingerbread hat which is actually donovan's hat that i stole that we got from walmart my pants match oh yeah and i also oh, nice. have socks on cute oh, oh so cute, cute. love them and then i um have my little i'm super themed sweater super weather themed. which i've i've drank out of this cup a lot but there's sweater hot weather. cocoa sweater in weather. here isn't it sweater weather Sweater sweater weather. Weather. But I am working right now. Uh, but, but I did I did this part, but I'm sorry, I'm the least festive. I, I don't have a hat, you know, but I, it doesn't mean I'm no. not the spirit. No? The well, spirit. You, you are the spirit. You mentioned socks. Do you think you'll be coming out with perhaps another sock line? Because they were so popular. They were all over the gram and we loved it. By the way, Tony, great design by Tony, our producer. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'll show, I'm going to pull them out in a second. But yes, Tony did. He contributed. We said it. We, we inspired him. He, ins- no, let's just say maybe Tony maybe inspired the whole line. I'm just saying, maybe. Oh, um, oh. Yeah, I, I sat one day and I was like, oh my gosh, the, the, I, I was, we were going to talk about the socks and we put some ideas together. And then I was like, Tony had the idea. We said tree pose, Christmas tree, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. He created, his wife actually created this amazing design um, where I am the tree, tree pose in a tree pose. Uh, Trishmas said, Merry Trishmas, of course. And then I was like, oh, something on the bottom. So on the bottom, you have my feet. It says, tis the sea zen. Cute. 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 Yeah, they did really well. And I was thinking maybe we make some non Trishmas socks for the non Trishmas season or Hanukkah season. Um, and- <laughs> Hanukkah. I, I, appreciate um, that. I appreciate that. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well done. <laughs> And so we'll see, we'll see. But um, yeah, I don't know. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see some Trish socks and Trish theme. Maybe, I don't know, we'll, you know, um, some with the women's championship belt. Maybe there's a favorite nemesis <gasps> sock. A Ooh. nemesis series. I don't know. Let's talk about you it. Could get, still, you, you could just sell like the left sock and the left yes. sock is, the, is all different. And then you could have all of your opponents, the right sock. Or maybe you might you might want to be the right, and then you put them together, you know. So you're just buying the single sock, the left or the right. That's super cute. Speaking of like uh, like uh, I know we don't want to like like we already talked about wrestling so much. Um, Trish, remember our Survivor Series 2002? I chipped my tooth, broke my nose, and um, got a big lump on my 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 head. You guys remember? I was I don't want to film. Thank God, Trish. Um, we were supposed to film a couple days ago. I go, thank God, my. That tooth, that broken half, broke again. Me opening a deodorant container what? with my you teeth. Like your teeth. And, Do you know what I think that every time? I think you hit me with a chair once, and I ro- chipped my tooth as well. And yeah. uh, it's uh, 
same thing. I got it fixed fake with some fake resin, who knows what. And yeah, I had the bonding. I go to use my tooth. Like, oh, no, 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 that's not real. There's no, there's no strength there. So what happened? Yeah. What did you do? I, so I got it fixed. I got it fixed. And they were like asking me, um, what, how did I do it? And, and I had to go back how I originally did it. And then I was like, I opened a deodorant. Um, I opened the, the top. And you know how they have that plastic coating on that protects yeah. the, I, I went. No, you went and I was like, wow, oh, did I break the plastic? And I'm chewing, I'm chewing. And I'm like, and I look at my tooth and I go, oh my God, I just did it again. Oops, Oops. I did it again. <laughs> I didn't realize you had already broken Do it. Have a picture of it? I'd like to see that. No. Pardon? Picture. Do you have a picture of it? I sent it to Mickey and I was like, oh no, no, no. I ended up sending it. Yes, I'll, I'll send yes. it to you. Yeah, please. Yes. But it's not for public it. because I. It's not I her screensaver. It. Every time she calls me, every time. Oh, she no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah. And it's so like, uh, I, I was like, they said, well, you can come in today. And I'm like, no, let me bleach my teeth. I don't want to match the other color of my my teeth. So I ordered some from Amazon to, to uh, bleach my teeth white so they can match it. So, I was just put you over of how amazing you are and we appreciate you taking the time i know you're filming canada's got talent right now or you've just yeah. started you just got there how exciting yes. it's very exciting well we've done the auditions have been done we are in the next round now and uh you know we're basically going to change someone's life with one million dollars not Is to brag but like more than hgt you know it's the biggest prize uh, in canadian history we are the number one show in television. Uh, our, our network is the highest rated show in a decade. So we're doing well. And uh, it's really, honestly, it's so much fun. It's like, you're, you like, think about it. You're like changing someone's life. Like yeah. even when we do a golden buzzer, we give $25,000 to that golden buzzer uh, winner. And, and it just it really can be life-changing for some people. And it's, it's very special. I love it. It's the yeah. best gig. It's yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it must be rewarding too, to know that you're like changing people's lives. And I was going to say, do you have to be connected? Canadian. Is it too late for me to sign up? Can I get your vote? Will you hit me with that golden buzzer? But I think I missed, I missed my spot. I yeah. missed my opportunity. You know what? You need to be, uh, I think it's living in Canada or a Canadian, or there's some Canadian isms to it. Perhaps oh, okay. if we expand our borders literally towards the United States, mm -hmm. come on, come on up. Come then on up. Well, I'm Native American, so maybe that'll make a difference because I could just cross over, right? Like I love that, that yeah. counts. Yeah. Sort of. yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you hey, know. Trisha, I do have a question, Mike. When you meet, um, when you when you uh, work with Howie Mandel, I know he's a germaphobe. Um, yes. Does he and shake your hand too. or? Okay. Also, you're clean. <laughs> uh, yes, he. We do a little of this, you know. Uh, he's into that, but we do. We hug. We hug. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you. We do hug. He's okay yeah. with hugging people. He knows. He's, he's. He's controlled it a little. Actually, over the years, he has. He's really like controlled that whole uh, of it all. Um, and so he's okay to do. Like, I, there was one point I remember in the beginning. It was the first season, and there was a. Uh, I think it was a pole dancer, and then he just went up on stage, and I was like, oh my god, and he was on the pole and I was like oh he must be he must be over this germ thing I, I, but you know do it for the camera you know it's like one of those right. things but um yeah no he's uh he's, he's he'll hug he'll hug with caution yeah. I know that you've met some really amazing talents in Canada's Got Talent but for the people that are auditioning and the people that you see coming out onto the stage what advice do you have for them as far as nerves because we hear this a lot working in comic cons and things like that that they're afraid to go meet their favorite celebrity or in this case in front of you their favorite celebrity they're performing so what sort of nerves do you see? And, and what do you have to combat that? What would, advice would you give? Uh, yes, definitely see some nervous people. These are like, if you think about it, this is like their shock. This is their one moment to like have their dreams realized, right? Um, yeah. So I always, and sometimes when I see them nervous, I'll just take a minute with them and actually go like, hey, take a deep breath, take it. And I literally, there's this one kid who was so nervous. I said, take a deep breath. She goes, okay. And I said, no, no, actually do it with me. And like, we, I felt like the whole room did it too. We just like, and you could just see her whole body just, come in like you know it's so amazing the power mm -hmm. of breath um so that's for me personally what's got me through so much is my, the power of breath taking a deep breath it's just amazing how revitalizing it is how calming it is it it, it really affects the entire like parasympathetic nervous system um and so yeah the breathing for me is key I, I try to even when people meet me in their shape I go and I, I hold their shoulders and I go do you do breath like okay I'm like no no but actually and I go and I let them feel it and it's like you guys feel that too let's just do a breath mm -hmm. let's do a breath ready you see you see how common like um, i i turn my face because i'm like if you tell them to take a deep breath just don't breathe on me 
Yes. Maybe Reese is now a germaphobe. Now that we're hearing all of this, I, I am. I am. You are I'm now like, you're I'm, like this. Happy. Yeah. This COVID. It, the COVID ruined me. Like this just COVID, yeah. um, like you know, like the flu going around and colds and stuff like yeah. that. You know what? What help? What helped me with our nervousness back in our day, going out to go perform? Like I would be so. You know, you, you guys know me very well. I would want to vomit, and my stomach got nervous, and I was just a mess. Until my yes. entrance mm -hmm. song, my entrance yeah. song clicked me out. Boom. True. Yeah. I was ready. Like, and we're on. And we're on. Yes. We're on. Yes. Yes. go to work. I've always yeah. you talk I'm about, about breath work. Work. What do you guys do to remedy the nerves? Um, well, it's funny that you talk about breath work because I do a lot of that, or they do like the breathe in for four, out for four, in for yeah. four. I did, did a meditation the other day that was like 10 minutes, and it was just like, yep. And you're purposely doing it. First off, why does my nose get so cold when I'm breathing like that? Like the when I do the inhale with the anyway, but it's really, really powerful. And what I've learned, too, is, you know, everybody goes, oh, your heart, your heart's the one that's driving all this through your body when it's not actually it's your lungs, your lung. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's like why the COVID, I think, or, or these a lot of asthma or any of these like lung issues really affect everybody's health on another way, because the lungs are what's like pushing all this stuff to the heart, to the other organs and stuff like that. It's just the more you, um, I've looked into it anyway. Yeah. I love it. I think I tell, I tell people all the time, like you need to sit back and just take a deep breath and like, yeah. I know because... it sounds almost cliched when you say it to people, you're like, just take a deep breath. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. You're like, no, no, but actually take a deep breath and feel it. Right. And like, feel like I always even picture like visualization, right? So it's like, you picture the balloon filling up and because people, some people inhale, like the wrong way, almost like they're doing the wrong, yeah. right. But if you have to vision, like just picture a balloon blowing up and oh, all that, everything's going in. Right. So it's like, yeah, amazing meditation. Or, like, I don't sleep much. I go crazy. I do my thing. And everyone's like, how do you do it? And I'm like, I just honestly believe that the meditation, the breath work, the yoga that I do are like power naps for my life. And that's how right. I get through doing what I got to do with keeping that, you know, high energy, just because I'm a, uh, I feel like it's regulated almost, you know? So yeah. Well, and I think too, in about. breathing, when you talk about it, like everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis now and in, in today's society, it, it's very shallow breathing. Like you're hunched over, you're on your mm -hmm. phone, you're just taking like little short breaths. You're on the yeah. computer, you're over here, you're taking little short breaths. Like it's very rare that you're taking deep breaths and it's like the power that it does. Like when you take it in as much as you can and then like release all of yeah. it, you know? But yeah, everything yeah. we do is like, I find myself or I'll hold my breath. That's how I know like what, where I'm stressed out or anything. I hold my breath or I'm taking like little short breaths, you know? Yeah. yeah. yeah holding your yeah. breath. There's this body language where your, your shoulders are up. Like, and you're just, there's like, like the, you speaking like this, you're kind of nervous and you're tired. And then if you just drop it and like, just, it's a different body language, a different energy. It's really powerful. Yeah. yeah. I like that in massages. Yeah. I have to remember to stop clenching my jaw or to be like, I don't know. I get kind of, it takes me a while to like calm down because I'm like touching and weird. And I don't know. It's strange. It's yeah. like just really is oh yeah oh God, it was, it was oh, that's what that feels like well this whole weird awesome thing what a what an interesting concept <laughs> i know i need to remember that when i'm getting my nails done instead of going like oh i gotta do this we were just talking about this the other day of like you're supposed to be relaxed at the nail salon or like getting your pedicure done i'm not Hate relaxed it. I'm like i need these I'm hands not. oh hurry up because i need them i gotta do i got texting i do no okay and i do this She's like, oh, this is what i was doing i was talking to you i was texting you i had one hand she has a little holder for me even when i go she'll put it there when i get there <laughs> it holds my phone and i do this and I'm like no, you're like nail jail. They've got you. I hate it. Kind of hates it, but she's like, I get it. You're so busy, and but I do. It does give you a moment to stop, and like you're never still, right? So at least you're like use that to like make calls or do whatever. And but yeah, we should also use it to self care. Yeah. And you're like enjoy your nails. I'm like I don't know, but right. it's not like yeah, it's people just... picture like the whole like uh, like it's zany. work. It's work. It's work. Right, getting your nails. It's beauty is work. Yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 Well, because we're in the festive season, because we're here at Trishmas, we would love to know, let's go around the board here, but we'll start with our guest of honor. What are your actual holiday plans and what are you looking forward to about the Trishmas season? Um, so a lot of people travel, like they go to their families, they like to, or, or they go away and they do Christmas and then do their vacationing. I like to not travel. I just want to be still. I've been traveling for the whole year, every single week for a lot of many weeks. So I look forward to just chilling out, um, having the family together, being with the kids. They'll be off school because it's like, you know, think about like they're in school, as you know, Mickey, like they're off to school and you're off to work. And then when you think about like how many actual hours you have with to the children at home, it's it's not, you know, right. Limited. Um, it's right. limited. So it's nice to like just have them home 
the whole time. They get all the mommy to themselves. There's no work involved. Don't have to put on a face. You don't have to put anything and no traveling. I just want to chill. We just sit around and then we have family, big gatherings. Um, and we do that on Christmas day and on boxing day. Do we know what boxing day is? Val knows. We do. I do. do. Which is funny because I'm against violence, but on that day, I'm okay. We with box. Violence. Yeah, we just, we, we yeah. hit each other in the face. Yeah, so yeah. Do <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Do boxing, which is, is just the day after Christmas. And we get to, um, yeah, just an extra day to entertain, relax, et cetera. And I love it. It's fun. Yeah. And the big sales, the big boxing day sales. I don't, I don't Now we're really, talking. You don't do? I don't. What about you guys? You guys indulge in that in the whole, or you like I don't sales? do, I don't, I don't do Black Friday. I don't, oh. well, the idea of Black Friday gives me such anxiety of being out Beach. with all of those people. Yeah. 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 But uh, online, shopping alone. Online, though. I know. Yeah, but, online is easier. I know yeah. it is. I know it is. I know. I'm also you still, you still starting. Doing it. Yeah. It's just a lot. I don't know. Yeah. Even online. And then I go like, oh, these boxes show up. And now I got to break down these boxes and take them to recycling and you know, <laughs> yeah, that's what Boxing Day should be just buying yourself a load of stuff that comes from Amazon. That's kind of like every week for me, basically. I'm an online shopper. <laughs> for yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. Day, you I actually take down the boxes. I hate oh. that. I hate that's the worst, right? It's like, and I, I'm like, like something's getting delivered, um, and my dogs let me know, and I'm like, I don't remember what I ordered because yeah, I don't yeah. like shopping. I don't like the mall. I don't like going out to shop. I'm an online shopper. I just want it just delivered straight to my door. I get yeah. anxiety. I'm too big of a crowd. Yeah, I changed. God, you guys. And, and Gore Forbuck, he just order he just I, yeah for the for the convenience and you know the thing with public spaces is the public. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one yeah. thing about it. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't right. for that, darn it. Yeah. Ladies, yeah. what are you looking forward to? I know that you both travel all the time. Are you looking forward to having some time to yourselves and time with family? Yeah, I um actually I, we were going to do Christmas here at the house. Um, which I love. I, you know, I, I'm a homebody and I love being at home and doing all the whole thing. But Nick just booked, we just booked actually to go back, which it's not a surprise because he, he told his mom the other day that we're going back to England to do Christmas in England. So we're leaving on the 22nd through the 30th and we come back on the 30th. So, Fun. and then it's New Year's and it's your anniversary, which is, it double is. yes, anniversary. Yeah. Um, for me, I am traveling to Chicago. Um, I'll be making a big announcement later on, but I can't talk. Um, I signed a non-disclosure thing, but um, I'll be traveling for business. So I'm not actually going to see my family at all. I'm a little oh, yeah. sad because my dad's coming all the way to San Diego. And he doesn't normally yeah. drive. So I'm kind of, I'm bummed by, about that, but yet, you know, opportunity comes, you know, you have to take, you you know, you have to take advantage. Then. And knocks on your door. She's got to an answer. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to either be in here in Orlando or in England. I haven't figured that out yet. We're deciding. But oh. either way, it's just, you know, splitting time between families and different countries. And you're always disappointing someone. But then, you, you know, it's this whole thing. But I'm, I love Christmas. I'm very like excited. Right now? I'm in Orlando right now. Got you. Okay. So I was going to say, Mickey, you're going to be visiting Val. But no. Maybe. You'll be here. Uh, maybe. I, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know because it, we'll see. I was I almost saw her yesterday because I just got back from Miami uh, on like mm. a little business trip there. So that was fun, although it was just twenty four yeah. hours. But it was too yeah. so close nice. yet so like, far. But I know, I know. Right. all in right. the love of wrestling. We were all there, and that was super fun to be all together. So oh, that was so right? great. And I hope so to see fun. you guys back there for the love of wrestling is such a great time. It's a big reunion for all of us. But I know we don't want to keep yeah. you too long, Trish, because you are you know a busy, busy gal especially during this Trishmas season. But uh, one of the final questions, I know you guys want to say goodbye to, what are you looking forward to in 2024? You don't have to tell us exactly what's going on if you have projects, but what are you looking forward to? Honestly, um, okay, so 2023 was probably the most insane year I've had on all fronts. Like it, I did not expect to, you know, Return to wrestling, obviously. This was the little mini program, turns into six months of a program. Uh, Ken's got to- Which like, you killed that- it. You Thank killed you. it. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Killed it. So much fun. Um, uh, I, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I, I have a lot of things that are percolating. And um, as, you know, Lisa said earlier, we'll let you know when we can let you know. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited. It, it just, it feels like things are like, we're on a roll here. And there's like good things happening, new opportunities and, and stuff that like I didn't even think I could tap into that I am. And it's uh, been fun. So I can't wait. And uh, and and honestly, it's just like um, 
at the end of the day, the support from my stratospherians, like from my, it's been, that's, you know, as we always say, we are so thankful for everyone. They're what drive us, they're what make us and, and give us really, your interest is what makes the interest. And so therefore we are a, a thing, you know what I mean? So um, thank you to all of my stratospherians, like for coming out, for supporting. And it's, you know, it was so fun to like, when I went, especially when I'm going back to wrestling and having like tapping into like, you know, if you know, you know, moments and like having that, like, oh, I love when she did that back in the day. And like, you know, so that was fun. Um, and I, I look forward to doing that again next year. I'm so excited. Yeah. It was yeah. So I have fun to say that nostalgia. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I know we were joking with fans and stuff earlier, but you're so amazing with the fans. And I always love like with every appearance that you do, you do, you take the time. You're so good at that stuff, like social media of like filming the the fans like when you're doing the meet and greets mm -hmm. and stuff like that like it's it's yeah. really really cool and people come out and show out for you because you are so beloved you uh -huh. did kill it with becky um and you continue to kill it and so you know yeah the bad girl tour continues in 2020 we've actually it we've, does we've, yeah we've it, we've added a, a big finer sleep. than a glass of winer yeah. <laughs> kind of she said Rhyme it. Yeah, but it's, we're announcing yeah. a bunch of dates uh, for 2024, like new ones. So, and yeah. it's and literally it's fan driven. Like we've said, where do you want to see me? And we've put it out there. And uh, yeah, so we've got a bunch of dates that we're going to uh, announce in the new year. So that's going to be a big, uh, a robust tour that will continue. Hopefully right. we can all meet up on some yeah. of those. It'll be so fun, right? Because like, like we said yeah. last night, yeah, we yeah. did that. Great. Because oh, I miss you guys. Because I love you I guys. Miss, I know. You were so much fun. I was saying to my husband, I was like, people know but like I don't know if I didn't know because I'm so I was so starstruck when I first met you I was like you're so funny <laughs> that's one thing that behind all the glitz of them I'm like she is witty as heck it was so much fun to hang out and get to know you more over the last couple years I'm like dude she's hilarious oh you are yeah. too I'm like oh, I like this one I like yeah. This. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah pure like, sass before like before we do um I know you have to go back to you know work and stuff like that um I Put I, I I don't have a cake, but I have a Hawaiian piece of bread. Oh, I don't eat very much bread, but I wanted to. We wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Oh my gosh! Well, thank you. Oh, so, so much. Yeah, here, wait, wait. Yeah. I have a Hanukkah. I have my Hanukkah candle in it. Oh, oh my god! I love this. Happy I love this. Hawaiian birthday. Oh, yeah. happy Hawaiian. But let's all sing, you guys. Okay. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Val's favorite. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Trish. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to, to you. you. And aloha. Blow it out. Oh, blow it out. Blow it out. Yay. Yay. Are you one? Are you two? Oh, no. No, we don't do that. Oh, <laughs> oh we don't have time Happy for that. Happy birthday <laughs> and Merry Trishmas to you. Thank you yes, so much. With you. the buns for my buns is because of my. <laughs> you always had great buns. Oh my great god! Cross buns. Great buns. Hot cross buns. Hot cross. Yes. Great yes. buns. Great. Buns. Here's to that. We're ending it right down. Got, got the buns on her. What? What is it? What is it, Jim Carrey? Like? It's got a. It's got oh, a it looks like it looked like two groundhogs in a burlap sack. Oh my <laughs> god! Wait, is that good though? I think so because it means like they're like. Rrr. No, I don't want them to be like. Then it sounds lumpy and and and. They move a lot. I'm yeah. Furry. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I know what we can do. I can, we can leave it with something bun related. We're going to make like a bread truck and haul buns, ladies. We got to let her get back to work. Back to work, kids. Got to go to home. that one. Mary Trish. Man. Mary Trish. My Mesh. ass back to work. Get yes. Behind the scenes look. Yeah. Behind. No buts about it. This is the word. Go, yo, go.